Well, there are apparently some Starbucks out there that are selling booze, and pretty soon, there's gonna be uh, more of those. Hey there, feeders, it's me, Noah Galoot. Now look, are you guys humongor fans of overpriced coffee? No? Well then why did you click a video with Starbucks in the title? Y'all dumb. In recent months, Starbucks has been testing out an evening menu with something called uh, Light Bites and something else called Alcohol. Uh, the second one is a great thing. It's you drink it and then life is better. They have wine along with some other foods that are not things like, you know, f***ing scones or whatever. They've got uh, a truffle mac and cheese, a chocolate fondue, and even bacon-wrapped dates, which is awesome if you want to relive your worst, most uninspired Valentine's Day dinner. They start offering their menu after 4 o'clock in select locations in select cities such as Chicago, Portland, and Seattle. They even have some locations right here in Los Angeles, which is uh, not especially interesting to me because I'm uh, not going to go. Right now they only have something like 40 locations, but they're going to be upgrading to thousands, which I think is more. Uh, so if you're one of those, you know, fake writer guys who sits around pretending to be typing, but really you're just like looking up your OkCupid account, what you can do now when you're fake writing is switch your latte to a Malbec, which means instead of caffeine, you're a different kind of douchebag. Not all Starbucks gonna have that weird late night boozy menu. They kind of want to put it in urban areas with movie theaters and an exciting nightlife. Which means if you go out on a date with your special lady friend and uh, the movie's sold out and you can't get into the restaurant you wanted to go to, you can take her to Starbucks and then she'll break up with you, which is awesome. Meanwhile, as usual, things are a little more interesting over in Japan where the Starbucks out there have come out with a new drink called a creamy vanilla latte with lemony swirl. And I can only hope that that sounds better in Japanese. Now you can get this thing as a frappuccino as well, and I do not know what that word means. But what I do know, that it sounds like this is just basically a latte, and then they add vanilla, and then like lemon curd bullshit to it, and probably a load of sugar. Now they top all these drinks off with whipped cream, and white chocolate that's been flavored with lemon peel, dried lemon peel, and uh, vanilla lemon sauce, which I'm told is made with authentic, uh, what's the word? Semen. Is that... We're gonna look into that. I think it's semen. Now, as long as we're talking about uh, Japanese foods that look like there's bodily fluid sprayed onto them, I should tell you that there are some places in Japan right now that are making Kit Kat pizzas, but only for a limited time. Now, these pizzas don't just have regular old Kit Kats on top of them. They have uh, bakeable pudding-flavored Kit Kats on them, which apparently is a new cool thing over in Japan that people are eating with their mouths. Now, personally, I have recently eaten a whole lot of flavored Kit Kats from Japan, along with my good friend Truly, and uh, I don't ever want to eat those again, so please, whatever you do, don't send me bakeable pudding-flavored Kit Kats. Thank you. Now, these Kit Kat pizzas are meant to be a dessert pizza, which is disgusting, but uh, they've got one that's the, oof, it's the Mango Dolce Pizza, and it's got bakeable pudding Kit Kats, mango, nuts, and honey maple sauce, which means that I am about to vomit, and that, apparently, is also one of the flavors you can get on top of your pizza. That's it for us today, guys. I'm Noah Gluten. Make sure you subscribe to Taste It, because next week, my little uh, hiatus from not doing cocaine is over. I'm gonna be super energetic.